What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Talk. And for today's Let's Talk, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Switch. It's been three years, and from a gaming standpoint, it's been pretty good three years, in my opinion. There have been some games that's come that many in the industry said that couldn't be done and wouldn't be done because the system is just too underpowered. Look, and they've not only have they come, but they've running well. And I'm talking about Witcher 3 and Mortal Kombat 11. You know, those are like two examples of the games that I I have in my collection that run pretty well on the Switch. So it got me thinking, let's pro con the Switch's first three years. So up first, the good, that sweet, sweet, sweet portability. I mean, this is the number one thing that I think most people love about the system. The ability to just take a game with you and not having to be worried about being tethered to the TV. You can just pick it up, go and suspend your game, start it back up. It's easy. It's simple. And I think that's one of the main things that people love about it. Uh, another thing, I like the fact that the game selection is just the just really diverse it has a lot of games i think it's over like 3000 now as far as like games that are on the actual system that people can get and they range from anywhere from shooters to uh, action adventure to rpg to puzzle to visual novels there's just a lot 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 of games on this system um my personal favorite is the rpgs and action adventure just the give you an idea. Uh, the other thing that I like is uh, they have like a different, they still didn't get rid of that old Nintendo uh, craziness that they like to do. I'm looking at Labo. Uh, they came out with Labo and it's actually really interesting seeing the different ways that Labo has been like constructed and, and still works for that system. I don't understand Labo. I don't <laughs> but I know a lot of people, they love it, and I can't deny them that. I really can't. Uh, so that's the good that I have, me personally. So let's con it. The bad. Uh, okay, real talk, that UI, the user interface, it's due for an overhaul at this point. I mean, seriously, I don't know what they are waiting for. I, I know everybody has their own personal additions and things they would love to see. Uh me personally, I'm on the folders and themes. That, that's that's pretty high on my list. I don't really care for background music, but I know that's one of the things that I've heard other people want. But uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you would want in in a UI overhaul. Because, like I said, for me, I just want folders and themes, and um, just so I can have a better way of looking at that uh, of the UI other than the film strip that they have. The other biggie, uh, and this is going to be one that I know a lot of people uh, have issues with, and that's the online service. Uh, I just think at this point they can do a whole lot better with it. I don't really know where they can begin because that's a whole podcast discussion. So I'll just stick with the virtual console uh, and things of that nature. I, at this point, um, bring on the N64, GameCube, and the Wii virtual console and just... Uh, start with those. I mean, I think if you do that, people would probably not be as pissed. I mean, we have the GameCube controllers, so n not having a uh, GameCube virtual console at this point is kind of like, okay, dude, really, what's up? I mean, we have the ability to at least, at the very least, do that. Um, also, it wouldn't hurt putting those anime specials that they had. I know the three uh, Kid Icarus ones they had for the 3DS, the the it was another one for Pikmin, the three videos they have for Pikmin, the Star Fox Battle Begins anime. Um, gauge interest like that, because I've been saying this, and you guys that follow the Winging It podcast have been have known me to say this, that they should have been had their own little anime stable of uh, you know, animes of their uh properties. And that's one thing you can do to gauge that interest, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people would love to see their favorite series, at least in some way, shape, or form. Like, I know a lot of people complain about F-Zero. Do an F-Zero anime. That might, you know, quell them for a little bit. Uh, do a Kid Icarus anime. I know everybody wanted to see a Smash Brothers anime, especially after that Link versus Pit uh, <laughs> uh, Palatina intro vid they did during the um, Wii U uh, Smash uh, advertisement. So 
there's that. But uh, that's all for this. Uh, let's talk. Uh, leave, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, are you still enjoying your Switch three years in? I know I am. Uh, what are some of your favorite games on there? They could be indie, uh, third party, or whatever. Just let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next vid. Peace out, peeps. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the New York City Festival, a celebration of the history of our city. And now, to get things started, her honor, Mayor Pauline! Here we go, off the rail. Did you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Say the word, I'll be there in a flash. You could say my